I consider Argon as similar as with culture center in Renaissance in Europe, where artists met to push the boundary of the art. Today, the scientists are meeting at Argon to push the boundary of the science. I think nanotechnology is really exciting because we're able to manipulate and control these objects that are so small we can't even see them. Just to give you a comparison, a single sheet of paper is about 100,000 nanometers thick. By understanding the properties of nanomaterials, we can uh, not only understand the, the fundamental phenomena, but also there may be opportunities to apply them for the good of the humankind. It's very important mostly for the applications these materials have in different fields, starting from medicine, biology, chemistry, and small devices like you have in your cell phones. Let's take your car, for example. So we can use nanomaterials to build new lithium-ion batteries that are very lightweight and very cheap to manufacture we can use nanocomposites to make the car extremely lightweight and there is extremely efficient. And for example, we can use nano additives in the paint and that way you make a car scratch resistant. Working at the Center for Nanoscape Materials is very exciting. We are developing uh, the most advanced instrumentations for atomic and molecular manipulations and spin manipulations. Also, we have uh, scientists coming from many different disciplines. Since we are one of DOE's user facilities, the academia, industrial and international users can access our center through user program. I do my best to help them prepare the proposals and get them here to take advantage of CNN. It's a challenge for us to fabricate and to find new methods for the devices they need and on the other side, it's very important from industry because Argon provides the facilities and the resources they don't have. Science is actually a team sport. It's like playing football. You cannot win a football game with just a quarterback. You really need a team of people and players interacting together. And we at the Center for Nanoscale Materials, we have that team. Ready to go, ready to play and ready to score. My name is So Weitla. I am the group leader of Electronic and Magnetic Materials and Devices Group at the Center for Nanoscape Materials. My name is Yuzi Liu. I'm working on the realization of very tiny objects by using transmission electron microscope at the Center for Nanoscale Materials. I am Ralu Divan, a chemist at the Center for Nanoscale Materials. I'm Volker Rose and I'm a physicist working at the Center for Nanoscale Materials. I'm Dan Rosenthal. I'm a senior at the Illinois Math and Science Academy and I'm a student researcher in the Center for Nanoscale Materials. 